Oh, am I happy to feature this game. You know, people talk a lot about the best big men around around the game, the best power forwards of recent eras. And the only time anyone ever really talks about defense is when they're trying to come up with reasons why Kevin Garnett is better than Dirk. Kevin Garnett's a Hall of Famer, no doubt. Influential, pivotal big man, generational big man. He's not Dirk, and he didn't leave the same imprint on the game that Dirk did. They met up in the playoffs in 2002, and in Game 3, it did not go well for KG. So today, we're going to visit that series, and we're going to look at Dirk versus KG. The one time we got it in the playoffs. Let's do it. Minnesota Timberwolves gegen Dallas Mavericks. Oh yeah. I don't know who this Dallas broadcast team is, but I love this. All right, round 1 game 3 in Minnesota. So here we are the rebranded Mavericks at this point. First time uh first year I think rolling out probably the blue jerseys. Wally Zerbiak. Dirk bringing the ball up on the break. Yeah, get off me, KG. Get off me. That's what he's saying. He's saying, take that with you. Dirk gets the board, brings it up again. Look at this. Gets fouled by KG at the rim. Eduardo Nahra. Another former Sooner. Dirk in this series, 30.5 points, 15 boards, 48% from the field. Dirk dominated. This is still young Dirk. This is still baby goat. He's over here like, ah, I'm better than you. Actually, Dirk wouldn't say that. Spot up three. Oh, my God. The net barely moves. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. I love this broadcaster, by the way. I don't even know what he's saying, but it sounds amazing. Dirk in the corner, splash. Ooh. They met once in the playoffs. Dirk had KG's lunch. And again, the only time people ever want to talk about defense is when they're trying to come up with reasons why KG is actually better. He's a better defender, sure, I'll give him that. But the game is about offense. Your stats are what puts you in the Hall of Fame, not your ability to be a defensive player. Dirk with the move. Splash from the baseline. Who's guarding him? Is that Latrell Sprewell? Has he choked out his head coach yet? Dirk back door. Ah, not an and one, but close. Oh, wait, he said and one. Okay, give me that. Give me that and one. It looked like it fell off the rim. I'm not going to argue with the official. Back door. Draws the contact. Yes, it is an M1. There you go. Believe me, not your lying eyes. Smart play by Nahara. Getting the hand away. Let's see. This is a dramatic tension on this free throw. Don't know why. He's like a 90% free throw shooter. Nowitzki gegen Gary Trent. Hilfe von Kevin Garnett und das Foul gegen Garnett. Sorry, Flip Saunders. It never really worked out for you. KG, I don't even know that you're who fouled him, but he was sandwiched between two Timberwolves. Somebody got him. Knocks them both down. There you go. Was Kevin Garnett, off the top of my head, was Kevin Garnett ever an MVP? If he was, it was like once. Uh, I don't think he was. But uh, he's not the most valuable player on this court, let alone in the league at this point. That's not KG, but that's good defense. Dirk with the, uh, still got the, the goatee only look, but he's got the short crop of hair. Gets the deep position on that. Peeler's name does not curve well around his name, or around his number. It's not even. 24-7, 7 of 7, of seven from the field. Tell me who's winning this early on. We're heading towards halftime, I think I saw. I don't know why they don't have the freaking score at the bottom the whole time. That's kind of dumb. German broadcast team. 
Killing it. Der alles überragende Mann der ersten Halbzeit. Dirk gets Dirk inside. Gets the end one. You just can't do anything with him, KG. Namensschrittfehler. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh, don't do it to him. 31. Oh. And he steps back behind the three-point line. Oh my God. 85% on... Oh, that's the free throws. 10 of 12 from the line. Splash. Splash. Nash with the pick and roll with Dirk. Sets up Dirk. Elbow extended. Bucket. I, I mean, is this still a competition? Oh, get some. Okay, he got fouled. He still goes to the line. Sam Cassell? Yeah. Knocks it down. 30 in game one. 31 in game two. 36 in game three. I don't know how much time's left in the game because it's not giving me the thing at the bottom of the screen, which is kind of infuriating. But uh, regardless, Dirk's got 36 on the day. There you go. Minute 28 left. Dallas up eight. What a dumb pros like policy to only show it sometimes. 38 points for Dirk in the game. He ends the game with 39 and 17. 39 points, 17 rebounds in game three. Let's hear the man. You know, they came back, the, the, the crowd got involved, they made shots, and uh, it was a tough game at the end. But I think we, we knew even though it's, it's a slow game at the end, we have enough weapons to, you know, to, to make it pay, and uh, we made some big shots at the end. Dirk, how important is the sweep here when you think about confidence? Yeah, the I'd even mention that. They swept them. They swept KG and the so T-Wolves out. You know, we didn't... For all, the, for all the talk people gave Dirk of like, oh, he should have done more, discluding the 12 straight 50 win seasons, discluding two trips, I don't know what's happening with their broadcast, uh, two trips to the finals, and three trips overall to the Western Conference Finals. I Okay, fine. Even if you're going to go that route... No one applies that to KG. They just say, oh, well, in Minnesota, you know, he, he really didn't have enough help. It's selective. It's selective. They have one guy they want to hold up and one guy that they want to cut down. And that's it. It's working backwards from your conclusion. And, you know, I didn't take anything away from KG in the sense that I said he is a Hall of Famer. He was a, a generational great. What I still contend is that you hold up KG and his legacy and his impact on the game and you hold up Dirks, Dirks is higher, it's bigger, and when they went head-to-head, -head, more often than not, Dirk got the best of it. So, interesting go back here. Uh, this is this is a pretty cool game as well. Um, playoff series, and you sweep the Timberwolves, who they were pretty good around this time, actually. They, they were. So, for Dallas to sweep them like a bunch of bums out of the first round, not bad. Not bad. This was a Dallas team right on the cusp of full breakthrough uh, and a real contendership. So that's going to do it for my time on this video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will have more content out shortly. Until next time, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Salute.